Ryan, as we head into the weekend, have you kind of just completely put the, the FA Cup defeat behind you now? Oh yeah, the FA Cup was done Sunday afternoon, travelling home, or late Sunday afternoon. Uh, and our attention is turned to Birmingham City, uh, which is the most important one next time. So yeah, it was um, some good stuff, some not so good stuff as we spoke about, but it's football in it, we've got to move on quickly. And as you said, our main aim is, is Birmingham City Saturday afternoon. You spoke after the game about maybe the players doing a, a few things that weren't quite in your style. So have you been working on the training pitch this week? To, to yeah, well, we had a debrief with the group of, of not to hit too many long balls at, at the wrong times and, and to, to move forward a bit quicker and pass forward a bit quicker. It was all uh, constructive. It was all good. And we've worked on some stuff already over the last few days on the training pitch and we'll cont continue that today. It's important that there's still messages that are always going to be the same and just simplifying everything of what we want to try and do. Uh, as I said, since I've been in the building, there's been a lot of good stuff, a lot of good work. Lads are taking on board a lot of good stuff, but sometimes it's hard, isn't it, when you give one or two lads an opportunity, they're trying to impress doing different things. <coughs> I, I definitely think some of them are doing that. But ultimately, look, everyone wants to impress on a daily basis. But as I said, if we can keep things simple at the right times and penetrate to the right times and, and keep the style of play and moving the ball fast, then but we'll be fine and that's obviously the key throughout the training sessions throughout the week. It's Birmingham on Saturday and they're not in the best of form but it, are you focusing more on yourselves as, as you've said? Yeah listen it doesn't matter form in this championship does it? You, you know yourself anyone can beat anyone we're not definitely not going to disrespect Birmingham City and Leeds teams because we know what they're capable of doing we've got some fantastic quality players in there uh, yet yeah, they might be a little bit in different run of <coughs> they probably want more points on the board and want to be winning more games We'll certainly respect them, but as I've said loads of times, we just can't fear anyone. We've got to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We'll worry about what we have to do, but we'll pay Birmingham City the, the massive respect they deserve because, as I said, anyone in this division can beat anyone. It's back a deep deal, and it feels a long time since that, that first game, so is this a good opportunity for you to get back in front of the fans? Yeah, look, really <coughs> really excited about it. You know, can't wait. I'm excited every time we, we walk out as the Preston North End manager to represent this football club and represent my team and, and get them playing the style of play we want. Uh, Saturday's going to be no different, albeit there's going to be hopefully a lot more fans there to see. To see it. And it's up to, to me and the staff and the players to, to put a game plan together that they can be excited about. What kind of team news do you have ahead of the weekend? I think it's only, was it Tom Barquez and Matthew Olsen Sunday that missed out on Sunday? Yeah, they're, they're back fit now. <coughs> um, yeah, maybe have a check of one or two today, but you know we'll definitely have a, a a select squad to pick from, a bigger squad than we've had probably over the mass, over the past few weeks. But as I say, if, if someone's not fit or not ready, it gives someone else an opportunity. Uh, but hopefully we'll have, we've definitely got 21 players training today, which that will give you a good indication of what we've got. And we'll see what we've got for availability for Saturday. Got lots of games coming up, so does that give you a, a good chance to have a look at everyone? It does, yeah. Um, look, I, I have a look at everyone every day on a daily basis, don't I? So I know what they're about, I know what they want to do. There's a lot of lads who are eager to get in the team, which which we know, and we want them to be patient, and they've got to be patient because, as you've just said, you know, we go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, and then Saturday. So that's, a, that's five games probably all in the space at the end of this month. So we've got to make sure we recover right, we're ready for it. And if we keep putting the game plans together for the lads to go and execute, then hopefully they can take a lot of points from these next few games. But more importantly, the squad have got to stick together through thick and thin. Uh, there is going to be probably one or two changes along the way over the next course of the games because you're going to need to and you need to go and freshen it up. So I've got to make sure, it's my job to make sure all them players are ready when, when called upon. Are you looking forward to having kind of a, a steady run of fixtures? Because it's been a bit sporadic since you've been here, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's been up and down a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I'd have preferred it just to go the way it was going to go, the, the fix, fixture schedule. Now we've had to pencil them in and, and the ones that we've missed have all come back to back. <coughs> but as we've said, it's football, isn't it? Everyone's doing the same thing up and down the country. We've had one or two situations where games are being called off, but we've got to go over there now and, and I've got to put game plans together to try and execute. Uh, and that'll be our main focus over the next few weeks. Listen. We've had a good week with the group this week. Um, next week will be tapered down again because obviously Saturday, Tuesday, and then we'll have a couple of days. So, yeah, it, I'm excited about it. Don't get me wrong because it's great, isn't it? You know, the games that are coming up, taking fast. Um, we're really looking forward to it, but it will be probably chaotic and a bit hectic over the next few weeks.